I was born in South Florida. Um, spent my life, most of my life down there. Um, I went to culinary school at the Florida Culinary Institute in West Palm Beach. Um, after graduation from culinary school, I came up to the Orlando area where I got a job at the Walt Disney World Company. Uh, I worked at the Flying Fish Cafe on Disney's Boardwalk for two and a half years. And then I worked at um, Tony's Town Square in the Magic Kingdom for another two and a half years. Uh, after five years at Disney, I started to decide to you know, change you know, locations and I went to the Cheesecake Factory. Um, started off in Winter Park and then I opened the Mall of Millennia. I was the executive kitchen manager there for uh, almost three years. And after three years at Cheesecake Factory, I decided to change my attitude and change my latitude. Uh, and I came to Margaritaville, where I've been for the past nine and a half years as the executive chef. Um, and uh, it's here that I've, I've found a home and I, I really, I love the, the atmosphere and the people I work with and um, the, the culture is amazing. And uh, I plan to retire with the company. Uh, how did I decide to become a chef? Um, that's a good question. I don't come from a family of chefs. Like most people say, I learned with my grandmother and I watched my parents and I didn't really have that. Um, my parents weren't uh, really big cooks and my grandparents weren't, I mean, they're home cooks, but they weren't, you know, chefs or anything by any stretch of the imagination. Um, I started making brownies and cookies and stuff like that when I was in middle school and I, I really liked the kudos. I liked the people said, oh, it's amazing. And um, I moved on to cheesecakes and I kind of came up with a really good cheesecake recipe that uh, people would say, hey, you gonna come to the party? Yeah, well, can you bring your cheesecake? So I kind of became known for my cheesecakes and I, I really loved you know, the attention and the kudos. And uh, going through high school, I enjoyed cooking and, and I decided, in the back of my head, I was, you know, maybe I should do this. Um, I went to um, Florida Atlantic University to play baseball and I played for about a half a season and I decided that I was just gonna go to culinary school. So I, uh, I left college, I went to culinary school um, and uh, for 19 months, I, I went to culinary school. I had a full-time line cook job, um, and I was just so immersed in it. I would wake up in the morning, and I would go to culinary school all day. I would drive right to work, work all night. I would go home, and then I would watch the Food Network till I fell asleep, and it was just this cycle. It's an unbreakable cycle, and I was a sponge. I, it was, I just knew I loved it. You know, um, I was horrible in math in school, but I was great in culinary math, so I just, it, I just got it. So um, it went from there, and, and it was just a passion that I Never got out of my, I started off as a dishwasher, my first job, and I never left the restaurant business since. My favorite TV chef uh, by far is Alton Brown. I really respect Alton Brown. Uh, his, his show Good Eats was amazing. It was not only taught you the best recipes, but it was, you, you learned something in every episode. Um, it's kind of similar to I, the way I feel I would be. You know, he's a coach, he wants to teach you something about the food he's preparing. And it was just, he's just very entertaining and, and the food is amazing. All his recipes are the best you can find, I feel. I feel. I think uh, to be a successful, you have to be, be able to do both. You have to wear both hats. Um, I think there's no more important piece than the people piece. If they don't, if your line cooks don't support you and follow you, they're not gonna follow you into battle. So you have to lead by example. You have to be a coach, you have to be a friend, you have to be a boss at times. You know, they have to know there's a line in the sand and they can't cross it and then they respect that and then you teach them. You have to put them under your wing and show them the right way um, and, and just um, build a great team and have an open door policy there whenever they need you and stuff like that. And then, and then you build a great team and that's, you know, that's half the battle. And then the artistic side is, is also, uh, you know, that's, that's where you get to have fun and you get to create and, and make specials and put, make new menu items and stuff like that is, is the fun part. That's the reason why I actually got into the business. But what you can expect when you come to Margaritaville is escapism. Uh, when you come in the front door, our goal is to make you forget where you are. You all of a sudden are in Margaritaville. You're on a, an island where there's uh, you know, beach breezes and uh, there's so much stuff going on around here at all times. There's videos playing, there's stilt walkers walking around at night. We have live band on stage every night. If you don't feel like a live band, if you go out in the patio, there's uh, acoustic music going on. Um, it's just, uh, it's very busy, um, ups, um, busy um, we like to call it organized chaos. There's always someone coming around the corner with a big tray of food and ducking on behind you, and um, it's uh, it's pretty crazy. But it, what's great about it is is it fits everybody. Like you could bring your family here, um, or you could also bring a date here. You could do date night here. Um, there's uh, different areas of the restaurant you can sit in. You could sit at the bar, or you can sit out on the you know the area where they you know they, they do the margarita song. We have a volcano that erupts, and you know the kids love that, and people are videotaping it and. Um, there's always something going on. Stilt walkers walking around making balloon animals for kids and balloon hats and there's bachelorette parties and bachelor parties and we could do up to 4,000 covers in a day or even more. Um, so the place is always buzzing. It's always busy. 
Um, like for an interview, we said we need to find a quiet place, and there's not really a quiet place in Margaritaville. It's always something going on, and it's uh, it's pretty it's a great environment. I would say our signature dishes are the cheeseburger paradise, of course, obviously cheeseburger paradise. Um, our nachos, our volcano nachos, are very uh, they're wow, they're a showstopper. When they come out, everyone's like, "What's that?" Um, they're very large, they're enough to feed a big group of people. Um, we have fish and chips that are very big sellers, coconut shrimp. We have uh, black grouper. Uh, we have um, black and grouper fish sandwiches. We have black and fish sandwiches. Um, you name it. We have salads and sandwiches and a club sandwich and a Cuban. So I mean, we kind of cover all. All it's not it's not a huge menu, but it's it's uh, it's it's built for it's 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 up to on trend and and we're really excited about it. Special diet restrictions are something we deal with on a daily basis. Uh, we feel very comfortable with it. We've actually created a gluten-free menu that we've rolled out around the country. Uh, we have a vegetarian menu. Um, whenever a guest has a dietary restriction, uh, a chef will visit the table and run through their um, their options. And we can build, if we don't have something right away that they can have, we'll actually build what they can have and create something for them at the table. Um, it's kind of nice because they become the VIP instead of being the person that's you know feels bad. Now I'm sorry, I have a, they become the VIP. So we try and make them the, the special guests at the table. We create something for them special if we don't have something for them already. But um, a lot of uh, the allergies we see are nut allergies. We see. Um, we see uh, gluten, dairy, eggs, um, so we, we were able to accommodate any allergy. So we'd like to invite you to Margarita to come partake of what we have here. It's an amazing restaurant with a great atmosphere. And make sure you save room for dessert because we have our chocolate hurricane.